Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Hasbro exclusive Marvel Legends Deadpool and Hydra Bob 2-pack. Hell yeah, I'm so excited about this set. I think that both of these figures look awesome. And yes, this is an exclusive, but I was able to get it early from a website called Figure Grail. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to their Instagram and their website in the description below. Huge shout out to them for sending this out to me early. I really do appreciate it. And huge shout out to Agent Gomez who kind of facilitated the transaction, <laughs> which was very nice of him. But yeah, shout out to both of those guys. I'll leave links to their information in the description below. But let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging. On the front here, we get a look at both of the figures with some awesome artwork behind them. On the side of the box, we get a look at Deadpool. On the back, we get a look at both figures along with all of the accessories that they come with. This set comes with so much crazy stuff, which is pretty awesome. And then on this side of the box, we get a look at Hydra Bob. On the top, it does say Deadpool. And that's about it for the packaging. It is windowless and stuff. And usually, I don't like the windowless style packaging. But when it comes to exclusives, I really don't mind because it's not like you're going to be able to look at these figures before you buy them anyways you know you typically have to buy them from Hasbro directly or through some other random website whatever the case may be you're probably not going to see them in hand before purchasing it so you know in a case like that I'm perfectly fine with the windowless boxes but enough about the box let's go ahead and get these guys out and take a look all right so here we have Deadpool and Hydra Bob right out of their box and man, I've got to say, this is such a fun set. Both of these figures have been a blast to mess around with. I think that Hasbro did a great job on these guys. And yes, there is a lot of reuse, but I think that the reuse works here. I think there's a good combination of parts. There's some new stuff and old stuff. It all comes together very well to make these figures feel unique, you know? They don't really feel like just a straight-up repaint of something else. Obviously, that's what they are, but there's enough here to make them feel like somewhat special, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy with the way they turned out. But let's go ahead and get into this starting off with Bob. So as you can see, the torso on Bob is reused from the Sunfire slash Spider-Man 2099 body. Yes, that is kind of old, but they updated it with new arms and legs. And I think that goes a long way because the arms and legs are pinless and I do think they look good. And I really wish they had done this with Yondu, who used the same torso, but he had the old arms and legs. And as a result, that figure felt old right out of the box. And that's not really the case with Bob. I think adding the new arms and legs definitely made the figure feel uh, much more current, you know. So I'm very happy with the way he turned out. I think the figure definitely captures the attitude and the silliness of Bob of Hydra. And I love this goofy-ass facial expression that Bob has. Perfectly encapsulates the character. And yeah, I think this is a pretty good looking head sculpt. Not a whole lot going on, but it definitely does the job. And then moving on to the body, he does have this piece, which is a floating piece. And, you know, it's got some straps. It has the H right there. It looks okay, but it would have benefited from a bit of a wash to bring out some of these details because there is some sculpting work on there. But still, I think it looks good. And then the body doesn't really have anything going on. It's just, you know, a blank green body. <laughs> But we have the belt around the waist that has a little bit of paint work. We've got some silver highlights in there. So that's nice. But yeah, aside from uh, those two things, not a whole lot to talk about on Bob. But the look and feel of the head sculpt definitely portrays the character very well. And you know, the body has the details that it needs. So yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty happy with what we have going on here. And then as for Deadpool, I think they did a great job on this figure. In my opinion, they used the perfect base body for him. It's the same buck that we saw on the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man and the three-pack Daredevil. And I think it works really well for Deadpool. Look at that. And you know what I love about this figure? Is that it doesn't feel like any specific version of Deadpool. It's just like a good classic kind of put anywhere type of Deadpool, you know? He came out really, really nice. The articulation on this buck is perfect for a character like Deadpool that does a lot of hand-to-hand -hand fighting and, you know, he's very agile and jumps around and all that kind of stuff. I think it works really good for him. And again, this is a perfect base choice for the character. And I think they did a really nice job with the head sculpt on Deadpool. I think this looks really nice. It's got a very classic vibe to it. I love the small white eyes. All of it looks really good. And as far as I could tell, this head sculpt is completely new. It looks different from any other Marvel Legends Deadpool head sculpts that I have laying around. So that's nice to see. But yeah, they did a good job on that. And then moving on to the body, there's not a whole lot going on. He does have this collar around his neck, which is a loose piece. So you could kind of 
move that around or take it off if you want. He does have these straps here with a little bit of paint work. And these are removable. But yeah, they look good. And they are able to hold on to the swords that he comes with. And yeah, for the most part, the figure is pretty clean. There is a little bit of red peeking through the black here. Not a huge deal, but you could see some of it. For the most part, it looks good. And then he does have the belt with the pouches and the Deadpool logo on the front. We have some more pouches around the leg. I do wish that these wrist cuff things were black instead of red, though, just to break it up a little bit. I feel like this was a mistake. So I'm going to have to switch these out. And yeah, everything looks pretty good on this guy. Like I said, not a whole lot of detail to talk about, but everything is pretty clean. And the new sculpted parts look good and the add-ons look good. So I'm very happy with the way Deadpool looks. And this set comes with a crazy amount of accessories. Honestly, a lot of it is kind of nonsense. But thankfully, it does come with a lot of things that are specifically intended for each of these characters. Deadpool comes with a bunch of different sets of hands. First off, we have a pair of fists. We have a set of gun gripping hands. We have a set of pointer fingers. A set of regular gripping hands. And then on the final set, we have a peace sign on the left and a thumbs up on the right. And then he does come with two handguns. These guns are nice. He does hold them very well, but they are kind of gummy. I don't know, they feel very soft, but they are sculpted well, and he looks good holding them. And then he does come with two different head sculpts, the first being the masked head that we've already looked at, and I think this does look really nice. And the alternate head is a half unmasked head sculpt. I think this is the same head sculpt that we saw with the, uh, the Deadpool that came in his boxer shorts. I can't remember what wave that was from, but I'm pretty sure it's the same head sculpt. But this one is painted a lot better. I think this one looks like an improvement over that previous one. But the sculpt appears to be the same. But I think they did a good job with it. I like the way the skin looks with the sores and everything. I like the big old cheesy smile. And I like how the eyes are different from each other too. I think this is a good looking head sculpt. I just wish that they would have given us something completely new. But I am happy to have this improved version of this cool looking head sculpt. And then Bob does come with some stuff too, including two different sets of hands. First off, we have a pair of fists, and then we have a set of gripping hands. And then we have these two machine guns, and obviously these are guns that could be used wherever you want. Deadpool could use them, Bob could use them, but I think Bob looks really cool holding them because they're green, and he's green, you know, I think it kind of, it looks cool, even though the greens don't match. In addition to the accessories that feel like they actually go with the figures, this set comes with a bunch of other crazy stuff, and most of it is basically just repaints of weapons we've seen before. Like we have this bazooka with a boxing glove at the end, and this is obviously a repaint of the bazooka that came with that old Marvel Legends Deadpool figure from a couple of years back. And, you know, it does look cool. It's silly, I guess. I don't know. I'm never going to use this thing. <laughs> but I guess it's it kind of fits with Deadpool and Bob and the whole goofy nature of these guys. And then this set comes with a bunch of other crazy stuff like these light saber sword things. And I don't know how often we've seen these. I can't really think of another time they use these except for with the recent Black Knight figure. So let me know in the comments if you guys have seen these before or maybe with like another line or something. Uh, but yeah, you know, that could be fun to have them have a little laser fight. And then the rest of the stuff is kind of crazy. Check out what we have going on here. So they gave us like all these weapons right here. And if you look at the colors, they look very familiar, right? We have a red, orange, blue, and a purple. The purple is a bow staff. The blue is a katana sword. The orange is some nunchucks. And then the red is a sigh. And, you know, obviously that's like paying homage to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I think that is very cool. Honestly, at first I didn't notice that until I was at Comic-Con and Dan Yoon kind of brought it to my attention. So, you know, that's a fun little Easter egg. I do think that is pretty cool, but I wish the weapons were better, you know? We've seen all these before, and, <laughs> you know, there's nothing real special here. I didn't really like some of these weapons the first time we saw them, you know? Like, these nunchucks are kind of whack. Everything else is okay, but it would have been cool to get, like, some new stuff. But, you know, at first when I saw all these weapons, I was kind of like, man, that's a lot of, like, just nonsense, you know, a lot of waste, kind of. But then, once I got the figures, and I realized how many accessories were in this set that actually fit with the figures, all this other stuff just kind of felt like extra fun stuff, you know? Like, you know, Bob has extra hands, Deadpool has a bunch of hands and two heads, and guns, and Bob has some guns. There's a lot going on that actually matters. So then, it kind of made me appreciate this other stuff, because it was like, 
At first it was all, man, that's a waste, you know, that's kind of goofy. But then it's like, well, even if this stuff wasn't in there, I'd be pretty happy with the amount of accessories they came with, you know? So this stuff just kind of feels like extra fun stuff. The only thing I really wish was different is that I wish that it came with a set of swords that have a black handle because Deadpool does kind of look a little funny with these blue handles on, on this sword, you know? Kind of clashes with the rest of his outfit. So I'm going to have to find some uh, black swords to go in there. But yeah, you know, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the accessories. And, you know, <laughs> this stuff, which I initially thought was going to annoy me or something, I kind of appreciate it more because of all the other good stuff they gave these figures. So, yeah, you know, fun stuff for sure. And then Bob does come with this briefcase. And this is pretty cool. As you can see, we have the Hydra logo right there in front. On the back, there's nothing going on, but it is brown with some texture. And then... You can open this up. There we go. And as you can see on the inside, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And this is like a separate plate that comes out. So you can maybe take this out and use the briefcase for other things. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And for size comparisons, we're going to go all over the place with it. I have a bunch of figures here I want to compare with these two guys. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the Marvel Legends Hydra soldiers. So that's not going to be in here. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with Deadpool and Bob alongside the Revil Tech Deadpool and the Hasbro Marvel Legends Deadpool. And this one has the uh, harness from the old Fans Choice 2-pack Deadpool. First thing I did was threw it on here because this is my favorite look for Deadpool. And it would have been cool if this 2-pack came with like the straps, I mean the harnesses to make up this version. I think that'd be nice. I still love that old Deadpool, but the new one is way better. And then here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Colossus and Juggernaut. We here we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective Deadpool and the Movie Deadpool by Figure Arts. Next up, we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective X-Men Suit Deadpool and the Mafex X-Force Deadpool. And I'd imagine that Hasbro would get around to making these two versions of Deadpool on this body. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think I'd be down for those. And for some X-Men action, here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Jim Lee Cyclops and the Mafex Brown Suit Wolverine. Next up, we have them alongside the Mafex Classic Spider-Man and the Mafex Gambit. And then here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends cable and the Rebel Tech cable with the custom head sculpt from Custom Chef. And I think this Deadpool looks awesome next to both of these cable figures. And then just to throw in something random, here we have them alongside the G.I. Joe Classified Torpedo and the Jada Toys Street Fighter Fei Long. And here they are next to the Marvel Legends Extremis Iron Man and the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America with the custom head sculpt by Casting Cave. And just in case you wanted to give Deadpool a little bit of drama, here he is alongside a couple of his past love interests. We have the Marvel Select Lady Death and the Marvel Legends Siren. And then lastly, here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. And then as for the articulation, you already know what's up with both of these figures, but I'll go ahead and show you what's going on here just very quickly. Starting off with Bob at the head, he does have a ball hinge at the top of the neck, so he can look up to about right there, and then he can look down to right there which is pretty nice, and then he can look side to side. Not Oh, a little bit of tilt, that's cool. And then for the torso, he does have an ab crunch that goes forward to right there, then it goes back to right there, and then he does have a waist swivel, but the belt does kind of get in the way. Usually I'm not a fan of like a waist swivel like this because it looks ugly, but when there's a belt there, it kind of covers it up and makes it okay. But obviously I would prefer like the new style torso where we have, you know, an ab crunch and a diaphragm cut, but you know, it is what it is. And then he does have butterfly joints at the shoulders that magically, for some, you know, miraculous reason, they go all the way back. Whoa, man, what kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> and then they could go forward to about right there, but then the straps do kind of get in the way. But yeah, I really wish that Hasbro would go back to uh, using, using butterfly joints that function like this, you know. Freaking Bucky Cap. And then he does have ball joints at the shoulders that go all the way around. His arms could come up to about right there, which is nice. And then he has upper bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows, a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. He could kick forward to right there, which is pretty nice. He can kick to the side to about right there. Can't really go back too much. He does have upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, Lower leg swivel, rocking ankles, and his foot goes forward to right there and then comes up to right there. So yeah, obviously, you know, this base body is pretty old. So 
I'm sure everybody is pretty familiar with the articulation, but you know, I will say I'm having a whole lot of fun playing around with this figure. It does have a lot of attitude and stuff, mostly because of the head sculpt. But you know, I think the articulation on this body does what it needs to do for Bob. It's not the best articulation ever because it has that outdated torso, but I will say I'm having a lot of fun playing around with this figure. And the articulation on Deadpool is much more exciting. This buck does feature a lot of things that we were asking for from Marvel Legends for a very long time. And I'm really happy to see that they implemented these things on a body that they use for characters like Spider-Man and Daredevil and now Deadpool. You know, all characters that really benefit from those extra points of articulation. So I really like what we have going on here. But let's go ahead and take a look starting off at the head. Actually, the head and the neck area is the one thing that sucks about this buck. <laughs> it is very limited. As you can see, it's just like that ball joint at the top of the neck. So we get a little bit of tilting action. We get some side to side, which is nice. You know what? The tilting is pretty cool because you want that for a character like Deadpool that, you know, has a lot of expressive gestures and things like that. And then he could look up only to about right there. It does have the notch in the back of the neck. That is, <laughs> that notch is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, he could look up to right there. If you want to get him to look up more, you could get some help from the torso. There you go. And then he could look down right to right there. And same kind of idea. If you want to get him to look down more, you could bend him at the torso. So there you go. Speaking of the torso, I really like this torso setup. We have a diaphragm cut and then an ab crunch. Using both of those, he's able to go forward a really nice amount. Check that out. Boom. And then he could go back a crazy amount. Look at that. And then he can rock side to side on that diaphragm cut. He can also swivel on the diaphragm cut. So that is really nice. And then he does have butterfly joints at the shoulders. And these work really well. They work pretty good, I'd say. Not as good as they do on Bob, but not as bad as like on Vulcan or Bucky Cap or something like that. So I'm really happy with what we have going on there. And the straps kind of get in the way, but you could just push them a little forward. And then you could see that like they don't really stop the joint from moving to its maximum range, you know. But let's go ahead and remove the straps very quickly so we could take a look at it all uninterrupted and unhindered but yeah as you can see the butterfly joint is pretty nice his arms could go back to about right there look at that see not quite all the way but definitely enough and you could get his arms in front of him a really good amount if you want to get him to like you know hold something with two hands that's definitely possible and then he could get his arms in front of him for punching poses and all that kind of good stuff. So pretty good stuff at the shoulders and at the arms. Worst punching pose ever. <laughs> but yeah, good stuff there. And then he also has ball joints at the shoulders so his arms can go all the way around and then they could come up a really good amount. Look at that. Boom. And then he does have upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows would which get a good bend there check that out he has a swivel at the wrist and then a hinge at the wrist and then at the legs he has drop down hips and they do work pretty good actually this one doesn't seem to go down much but this one does and it makes it so you can lift his leg up a really nice amount and especially if you crunch him forward it's looking really good check that out boom so you could kick Thanos in the face for trying to take his lady. You know what I mean? Bam. Look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, but this leg doesn't seem to want to go down as much. And I wish he could do the splits a little better, but, you know, it's not horrible. But, yeah, pretty good stuff there. And then he does have upper thigh swivel. Double-jointed knees. They get... A pretty good bend lower leg swivel and then his foot goes forward to right there comes up to right there oops then he has rocking ankles and then a toe hinge awesome stuff there so yeah man the articulation on deadpool is freaking awesome i'm having a whole lot of fun playing around with this figure obviously nothing new it's all points of articulation that we've seen before but it works really well for the character definitely for like crazy fighting poses and jumping poses and but yeah this articulation setup is perfect for deadpool you could definitely get him into any type of poses that you would want for the character. So I'm really happy with the articulation on this buck, and I think it works really good for Mr. Wilson here. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, 
I think this is a really, really fun set. Both of these figures turned out nice, and I think that Hasbro did a great job with it. I think that both figures use good base bodies for their characters. They both have some great articulation. There's a lot of cool accessories in this set. At first, some of those extra things were kind of annoying to me, but then once I realized that there's actually a lot of accessories that apply directly to the figures, and those extra things are just that, extra, you know, icing, <laughs> gravy, whatever you want to call it, just extra things they threw in there. Thankfully, there's adequate accessories for the figures themselves that actually apply to them, so for that reason, you know, it's kind of, all the other stuff is kind of cool. You got that Ninja Turtle Easter egg thing in there. Yes, they could have done better with it, but at least there's accessories that work for the figures themselves, like all those different hands. Deadpool has two heads. Bob has some weapons and some extra hands. There's a lot of accessories and some extra stuff, so that's pretty cool. And, you know, I realized that these figures are just repaints and they're mostly reused and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure a lot of people are going to hate that. And, you know... I can't really blame them. I totally understand. And in most cases, I'd be right there with you. I'm not really against reusing parts, especially when it works. In this case, I think it works perfectly fine. Both of these bodies work really well for these characters. Deadpool is a very new body with a whole lot of articulation, and I think it's perfect for this character. Bob has like new arms, new legs, but an old torso. So I could see people complaining about that. But at the end of the day, I think it works. So I'm not really mad at it. And like I said, I'm having fun with the set. So I'm not going to really get hung up on like the pieces that they used. At the end of the day, if I'm having fun, I'm having fun. And you know, it is what it is. So I'm very happy with these two. Uh, something they could have done better is I do wish that Deadpool's wrist cuffs were black and I also wish that he came with a set of swords that had black handles because the blue kind of clashes with the rest of the figure and for Bob I think it would have been cool if he came with some more head sculpts and you know obviously if they gave us an updated torso that'd be nice but like I said I think this works so I'm happy with it uh, but yeah I think for the most part Hasbro killed it with this set and I'm having a blast playing around with these figures and with that I think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. Once again, huge shout out to figuregrail.com. That's where I got this set. I'll leave a link to their information in the description below. They mostly deal with imports, but every now and then they get Hasbro stuff kind of early. So be sure to check them out. Also, shout out to Agent Gomez on Instagram for kind of hooking me up. I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.